Oh man, you guys, it is Hollywood's biggest night, Oscars 2020. Yep, there are stars, there are awards, there's fashion. fashion? And then there's us, commenting on all of the red carpet styles. Let's do it, this is Dirty Laundry. Janelle Monet, oh my God. Okay, Janelle Monet, we see you on the red carpet, but you guys, we saw her open the Oscars, which honestly, she should have been the host. I'm just saying. She looks like Diamonds are a girl's best friend meets, what's the little girl who wore the red and went to go save her grandma? Who a little red riding hood. Her. So Janelle Monae looks like a princess undercover. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like when when one of the princesses has to go into like where the peasants are, but they have to wear <gasps> capes and no one will recognize them. Yes. But they they're obviously still a princess. And she's like holding her lunch pail and she's just like in no that one gorgeous hood. Me. This outfit is incredible. This is exactly what I want to see on an Oscar's red carpet and also Janelle Monet. I feel like she is such a fashion like it's like an enigma, yes. how, just how stylish this girl is, and she has such a great sense of her own style, but she looks absolutely incredible. Well, the designer probably said to her, mm -hmm. how many how many crystals do you want? And she was just like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually heard that it took four people to carry this dress to her because Sad. it was so heavy. Yes, I literally read that all over Twitter, so if Twitter is not lying to me, then she I is, believe it. She is literally like diamond encrusted. She's got this, this gorgeous shape to her skirt, the hood is everything, this gorgeous diamond ring. Are you kidding? Yeah, I wonder if it's itchy. The dress? Yeah. I think when you're wearing that many diamonds, you just don't complain. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> it is effortless. It is like natural beauty exuding yeah. from her. She's pores. glowing. She's glowing. Like, whose face is that perfect? I don't even know, man. Like, she looks like a doll. She really does. Like oh a porcelain God. doll. But, like, there's very little makeup, which I love because she's naturally so gorgeous, anyways. But yeah. even aside from that, like, she's letting the outfit kind of have center stage as it should because it is honestly probably the one of the best outfits we'll see all day. All right, we've got our girl Billie Eilish in head to toe, dripping in oh. Chanel. Literally head to toe, from her jewelry, to her gloves, to the jacket and the pants. This whole look is Chanel. I feel like everything <gasps> has been so well coordinated. Like she's got the, the gold chain around her neck, then she's got the brooch, the Chanel brooches, but then her nails with the little tiny diamante, mm -hmm. and then the lace as well. I love the lace gloves. Why is she so cool? She's so cool. Like literally, she could wear anything, and she does. She wears the most outrageous stuff. Like she's never not gonna be herself on a red carpet, which is why I love her so much. Right. Like when it comes to something like the Oscars, it's not even necessarily like Billy's home court. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's like, this is like her this first is, time. Ever. It's her first time there, but it's it's not in the music world, so yes. like she still rocked her and like was you know true to who she is, mm -hmm. but did it in a way that was really classy and elegant. I mean, I just love everything about this look, mm -hmm. and she's kept the green hair, so it really pops against the entire like white with a little bit of black. And I will say these extra neon green roots, I'm living for. She like, just clearly got it. She touch just up. got it done, <laughs> yes. but it is so good, and it's I so love good. seeing the curls because. Like it just adds a little bit of femininity to a very amazing, powerful, you know, pantsuit. Yeah. I like the green hair, but I'm ready for something else. Yeah. Do you know, I feel like I've seen it so many times. I like want her to do a different color, like something different. Maybe like a baby pink, like a blue. Mm -hmm. Any of the above, yes. Let's hey. talk about these nails for a second because it's- Too long, nails... sorry, too long. I hate Really? Them. I oh, hate them. I love them Oop. because th with Billy, it's like, it's gotta be extra, and the nails are extra. Like these, if nails could kill. You rock long nails. I do. What do you think of the length uh, of Billy's nails? See, I I keep it like at a safe mm -hmm. length to be able to wipe my butt. Yes. You know, yes. I, I, I fear mm -hmm. for people when they really get into like that can't grasp things phase yes. because I just think about toilet tissue. We have all the Billy's killing it on the carpet. Oh <laughs> my. God! I feel like his personality and his fashion are such a beautiful marriage together that when I look at this outfit, I go, that's a Billy Porter original right there. He's standing next to the Oscar statue here and like- He is upstaging he, the Oscar. He is! I'm like, they should be handing out little Billies tonight. Exactly. <laughs> He can do no wrong to me. No. Honestly, like every single time I feel like I'm watching him at the Met Gala, mm -hmm. even though it's like a, just a random carpet. Absolutely. I feel like his look is the one look we're always talking about the next day and then for like literally a week or <laughs> a year later even. People are only willing to take risks at certain carpets and like the Oscars sometimes isn't really one of those. It's more like let's yeah. be subdued or like let's be classy. He did all that while also being extra, extra. AF. Yes. 
Everything about this outfit I think is great. I think the gold like leaf top is so like elegant. It's so dope. And just like looks like rich people clothing. Caesar's palace. <laughs> yes, I don't know, I think this looks amazing. I feel like they had to like build this chest plate onto his body. Onto him, yeah. Because it's so form fitting. <laughs> and the whole thing is gladiator vibes as well because not only do we have the chest plate, but we also have the straps on All the, the, way, on the yep. heels. You know he's gonna be you know, over the top and amazing every time, but he doesn't have like a signature look. You don't know what he's gonna do. And I think that's why he wows us every single time. I mean, that train. You know, if you're wearing a train, nobody can come near you. Right. You know, cause you're like, oh, don't trip on my train. Or just lift it. Oh, that's, you know, that's like ideal for me because I already don't like people. So if I just put a train, just. <laughs> you know that there's always gonna be a safe distance. Feet. Yes, like there's, you're always gonna have your bubble. Oh, Lily C. Looking like an angel on the red carpet. She is stunning in head to toe white. Very brave on her part. I mean, yeah, you, you can't imagine? have a spill. Not a spill. I'd be like with my red wine. Would be if all you sweat, sweat. <laughs> goodbye. The hair is beautiful. beautiful. The makeup is beautiful. The jewelry. She looks very mature and grown up. This is an amazing look on yeah. Lily. I really love it. It's super sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Very directional. Yeah. Very multi-tiered. Very laid. And I love a hybrid between pants and a skirt. Mm -hmm. And also, it was freezing in LA today, so this is like clutch for yeah, her. Yeah, and I'm rainy. Sure. I think she looks stunning, and I actually love her in all white. I think it looks beautiful on her coloring, but I just think it's like a little big. You yeah, know, I just I, I I have to disagree with you, Danny. I'm sorry, but okay. I'm getting like future president of the United yeah, States. True. I think she's playing it a little bit safe. Yeah. I kind I kind of wanted more, but you know what? Maybe she did want to avoid any wardrobe malfunctions. I mean, it was raining in LA. Um, mm -hmm. She looks great. I just feel like something is missing. She has another face that's just like unreal. Mm -hmm. You know, like she's so freaking pretty. Yeah. No matter what you put on it, it's yep. still gonna look stunning. The purse is very fun. I just noticed that it's very Lizzo. It is very Lizzo. Everyone's shouting out these tiny bags these days. I know. It's also like not functional though. Like, no, no. I hate no. when these bags become trendy because I'm like, I'm never gonna buy this because I can't use this. No. Oh my God, my heart be still please, Julia Butters from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She is so young. Can you imagine just like, you're going to the, the Oscars. Oscars. <laughs> like, this is incredible. This is so cute. She looks like a little Barbie princess. This is the outfit that when you were her age and you're like, oh, mom yeah. is like, pick out whatever you want to wear to school. Yeah. Like, this is what I wish I had in my closet, but my mom was never cool enough to let me have something like this. But this is what I would totally wear to school. You know, you've always got to be really careful when dressing up someone so young like her, but yep. she's really got like an edge to what she's wearing. Mm -hmm. You can see her personality come through. She looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is her first Oscars. Like she is not messing around and she looks absolutely adorable and beautiful all at the same time. I just, I, ugh, I, I have a soft spot for ruffles and these sleeves just all the way down. Even she's kind of got like a cowgirl get up going with the necklace around the yeah. collar. It's like a modern day Look Disney princess purse. dress. Look at her purse. Look at her purse. Look at her purse. That's a fab. I bet that purse is worth more than my life. It's like a little ball. She looks like a little Barbie princess. She does. Like that specific color of pink just mm -hmm. takes me back to a time. It is. She did this Barbie aisle in Mattel, mm -hmm. you know? It is. It's such like a childhood pink, but she just looks so cute and adorable. And this must be like, I can't even imagine like getting styled for the Oscars. Right? Like, she's owning it. She's a pro. She's a pro. She's, she's a pro. She's got this look in her eye mm -hmm. and this glimmer where it's this like, sparkle. I got this. She's got it. She's got it. <laughs> All right, Little Women's Florence Pugh is rocking this head to toe teal moment. I am loving this. She looks like a nominee tonight because she is one. She is. And she looks she absolutely be a damn winner. stunning. She looks absolutely stunning in this look. She has the belt, she has the dress. I love everything about this. Like seriously, head to toe, it's, the shoes matching the dress. Yes, it's structured it's but unstructured. You know what I'm like? Yeah. It goes structure with the belt and then it's like, hey, we're here to have a good yeah. time. We're here to like dance around, win some awards. This yes. color is one of my favorite colors. Same, 100%. It's like this teal it is so elegant to me. Regal. Yes, yeah. and I, you know how I am about matchy-matchy. Like mm -hmm. I usually don't like matching things, but I freaking love the, that her shoes are the same color as the dress. I think mm -hmm. everything works so well together. And then she wearing like a red diamond like necklace or what is that? It has like a little red accent yes. on it. I, this entire oh. outfit is incredible. Magnifique. Are these Mia shoes? Remember Mia, the no. strappy heel? Shout out, I remember Mia. This type of shoe. It was like chunky platform. That's just what that reminds me of too. Oh, it looks uncomfortable. Gorgeous dress. So cute. Fun fact, I auditioned for that role in Midsommar. 
we're in very different places in our lives, but um, I didn't get it. Plot twist. Same. She did. I love the contrast of the blue with the red carpet. Mm. It makes it stand out so much more. I love that there's, it's a high-low, so we can see her shoes and there's the belt, the necklace. Is that, it's off to the side a little bit. I think that's on purpose. I love it. Yes, it's I love so it. so good. I think it's such, it's such a great shape on her because mm -hmm. you could really like, be towing the line when you have something that is like multi-tiered, yeah. many like layers, especially with it being like a loose fit on the bottom. Right. But then she's got that belt that really cinches in on the waist and then the little spaghetti strap. So I think it really definitely balances the look out. And then she's got the straps on the shoes. Mm -hmm. I think it's such a great balance, this look on her. I love this color though. It's so oh. like mermaid sea oh, no. queen. Oh, I love it. So we have Saoirse Ronan. Mm -hmm. She is wearing also kind of like a lot of mixed um, materials tonight on the carpet. I, I do love the design of this it's interesting I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the color on the bottom with mm -hmm. the black and the white mm -hmm. but I actually surprisingly enough don't hate the design of it um I'm gonna say no she's debuting her bangs for the first time and you know what I'm gonna say no I'm Sorry. gonna say I'm gonna I'm <laughs> gonna you know what give credit where credit is due Sersha always plays it really safe in my opinion like at most award shows she does she wears like something really pink or something like with sparkles this at least is a risk and I'm here for it she matches the eyeshadow to the dress I really like the top half of the dress don't the love the bottom, bottom half. half the lower half reminds me almost like of a gypsy like, like kind Joanne of, fabric like a Joanne fabric sewn together I don't know yeah I don't know how I feel about it I like the upper half like I want her I want to see what's underneath it seems like there's more dress that we can't see. I feel like this was like uh, something happened where she was doing like a bippity boppity boo, like transitioning dresses, and then it got stuck. <laughs> Halfway through the transition. Like, it's so confusing because I think I like it. I like the color and I love that she kind of matched it with her eye makeup. I just, I wish the bottom had a little bit more like structure and a little more purpose to it. She usually nails it and she's been like looking incredible this entire award season and I feel like this is, this is definitely my least favorite look of hers that I've seen this entire awards season. And I just mm -hmm. feel like it just doesn't bring out, it doesn't, it's not flattering yeah. on her. For me personally, the top I love, mm -hmm. and I do like the pemplum, is that how you Peplum, say it? Peplum, yeah. Peplum, <laughs> uh, you know the yeah. word I'm trying to say. Yeah. But then it's that, I don't know what's the going bottom, on with that bottom yeah. part. And it almost seems like not tailored correctly, even right. though I, I understand there's supposed to be a train, but I don't like it together. I, I agree. I think it almost has to be one or the other. Like if it was the same material mm -hmm. and it was blue, like maybe it would look a little better. Or if it was a different color and a different material, you know, then it would be. I almost want it to be the top with black pants. Yeah. You know? Mad respect to somebody who can go to the Oscars and like have the most natural makeup ever. I currently have four pounds on my face. You know? <laughs> All right, we have Gal, and she is wearing black lace with a pink tutu and a gorgeous necklace yes. and a pop of red lip. Like this, this to me feels like what Sersha's dress was trying to Which do, is, but yes. right. Like it has the tutu, it has two different colors going on, but this was such a hit for me. This is perfect. Like this is this beautiful. This screams Wonder Woman, and yeah. this is exactly who she is. It's very, it's like, it's sexy on the top, but very like. Ooh, I'm a, like, you know what this is? Gal Gadot on the bottom. is ser she is serving up feminine but fierce. Feminine but fierce, yes. And I feel like Rihanna is like was an inspiration for this. I like this a lot. I don't know if I love the necklace. I think the necklace is like mm. just a smidge too much mm. for this look because there's so much lace and so much tool and there's so much going on and she's so beautiful. I just want to focus in on her face. But I really like this. It's an interesting choice. Her face is so stunning that it's almost, I wish the dress was just less because I just feel like I feel she that. can, she's one of those people that doesn't need to do something super crazy. It does remind me of the Saoirse Ronan dress, like the two tone, two type of dresses together. Um, it is like really fun though. There is something yeah. about this that I would, I would totally love to wear this dress and I, I wanna wear those diamonds, I'll take the necklace. It's such a difficult look to pull off and look so flawless and really be able to turn heads in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like you it's the safer thing to wear a dress that's way more body fitted and a little bit more skin, but she literally is covered head to toe and honestly, flawless. Yeah. It's such a good balance, like from the top it's like, 
fierce and sexy and powerful. And then the bottom is just so beautiful. And the train and how it lays around her and the necklace that she has on top. Again, I love that her hair is pulled back. It's not, you know, overwhelming the dress. She's letting the dress have a moment. Brie Larson looks like a freaking dream. I'm sorry, but this is so elegant to me. I think it's beautiful. It's not necessarily a ball gown. I feel like it's more on the like the subtle side of elegance mm -hmm. for the Oscars, but I, I love everything about this. I love this. Do not get me wrong. Oh no. But I, I've seen this before, I feel like on J-Lo. I feel like it's Groundhog's Day. Well, J-Lo did wear a dress almost exactly like Very this. similar to this. Yeah. Doesn't take anything away from it. She still no. looks beautiful. You know what it is? It's like the, the, the cape. cape. Is very, um, it's like it's memorable. It's the cape and the the, the neckline. drop neckline mm -hmm. and the the color and the shimmer of yeah. it and the the slit. Brie Larson is serving up J Lo vibes in this dress. She is showing off all her assets and all yes. that leg. Yes, queen. The leg, the cleavage, the oh my cape. God. I mean, hello, the cape. She looks just so good. How the cape is sewn into the dress. Oh my gosh. My God, and it's all like a very very. A uh, subtle gold mixed with silver, like but blush. Like, oh, blush, yes. And it is. I mean, it just screams Oscars. It even does. Though I don't even think she was nominated. No. So she showed up looking like she'd been winning all the awards for all the years, and she looks absolutely stunning. I mean, look she at looks, that body. The flawlessness mm. of it all. I love this look. Yeah, I think this might be one of my favorite looks so far. I love this look. I love the champagne of it all. She looks like a like a trophy. I love the cape. I love that. It's it's very diamond out, blinged out, yeah. shimmery stones with lots of glitter. You follow me. But it looks so simple. This is the thing. I'm realizing like what I do love. I love the idea of taking a chance on the red carpet, but I resonate with this type of daring chance. Like with the plunging neck and the plunging leg and this cool cape, like this just fits her in all the right places. It's got this really fun, gorgeous diamond on it and it's not too confusing. Like she just looks incredible. You know what's really what? striking me? This is like such a striking look and such mm -hmm. a striking outfit, but her glam. There yeah. is something about her glam that is really, really minimal, yep. but really striking at the same time. The cleavage, the cape, the hair, she looks so good. Freaking <gasps> superhero. Another, Another superhero. superhero, like wow. Oh, Margot Robbie. I have such a crush on her. Yes, she is honestly one of the hottest women on the face of the planet. She's so hot, planet. she's so hot. <laughs> she's gorgeous. I love everything about this woman. I love her as an actress. I think that she is such a strong, powerful, beautiful woman. Yes, but what about her clothes? <laughs> I do not like this dress. I kind of wish she did something a little bit more risk-taking. Like I think that the bolo kind of piece in the middle I adds, think that's a little risk adds a little risk but I feel like this is safe you know it, like, it is safe it is safe for sure and I, I feel like maybe maybe keep the dress but do something different with your hair maybe like an updo I like the I color I like the deep navy blue and I like the, how, the, how this like attached on her arms and it's a bow and it flows into like these princess mm -hmm. sleeves yes I can see why you're not a super fan of the dress mm -hmm. I think it ages her just a little bit when she's like so young and hot not that if you're old, you're not young and hot, but you know what I mean. But like, it ages her. Mark, is she, Margot Robbie is making Susan cry. It's okay, Susan. She looks so beautiful. I'm so, so proud to be a straight. Oh my God. Is there something about it also with the carpet and her hair and her lip and this brooch? Yeah. Oh. This is so old Hollywood. Yeah. I feel like she could have been at the Oscars in like 19. 50. It's very once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh my god, mm -hmm. like you tying it all together. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's wearing um, from Titanic. <laughs> the heart <laughs> of the ocean. I feel like that's the heart of the ocean, yes. right? On yes. on her chest because it's Margot Robbie and she can wear the heart of the ocean. She can wear on anything. her chest because, you know, she was on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Leo DiCaprio yes. and he literally must have had her all these years. Mm -hmm. And now he's like, Margot, this is your <laughs> night. Wear it on your chest. And she did that, she did and that. she is beautiful. I feel like Margot is just so flawless. And then it's also so, you know, minimalistic and little bows. It's like very girly, and her red lip is just amazing. We've seen so many amazing. red lips on the carpet tonight, right? Yeah. So beautiful. The heart of the ocean pendant matches her eyes oh my perfectly. God. I mean, yeah, no, <laughs> I was meant to be. Okay, Sinead, we've talked about a lot of people, but now we have to talk about our favorites. Mm -hmm. Who's it gonna be? Okay, well, there is a lot of absolute glam on the carpet tonight, but I feel mm -hmm. like it has to be like a tie for me. I, I, 
I don't know if that's allowed, but I'm gonna do it anyways. It's allowed. Um, okay, Janelle Monet yes. in her Little Red Riding Hood mm-hmm. glam and Florence Pugh in that like oh, teal, teal. That just made me more excited for my cushion first to arrive. You so know? good. I like both of them. I'd say Janelle Monet freaking killed it, yeah. and also Regina King yes, in that she, pink. Yes, she looked <sighs> un. Believable. So pretty. Yes. Okay, I have a tie. <gasps> okay, very different, but I really loved Florence Pugh mm-hmm. and Brie Larson. Those yeah. are probably my two favorites. To me, they're very classic and a lot more just elegant, nothing too crazy, nothing like, they're daring in their own ways. And I love the teal of Florence Pugh's dress. Yeah. I love it makes her look so young. And then Brie Larson's, it was just flattering and stunning and diamond and cape and like, Simple with the face. Oh, I loved both. I don't know. Maybe I could break your tie with saying Brie Larson. Okay. There's just something so signature and iconic about that dress. She looks stunning. She looks like butter. And I think she won the carpet. All right. So my favorite of the night was actually not on our list. I Mm. I have to say my favorite goes to Mindy Kaling, who is wearing all yellow. Yes. It was absolutely stunning. It looked so beautiful on her. And she had some big jewels. I am just here for it. It looked amazing on her skin tone, and I love a, I love a pop of color. I was just saying love it. So, pops. who is your favorite? I'm churning. I'm churning. I'm churning for Julia Butters because <laughs> that little girl, nine, ten years old. I mean, she just stopped the red carpet dead in its tracks with the pink and the ruffles and the pantsuit. Like, girl, she, amazing. she is wise beyond her years, and she brought that to the 2020 Oscars. But for me, I think for the Oscars. Janelle Monet, wow, yes. literally, she killed the carpet. Like, that is a look I've never seen before. I've never seen somebody. And that, that is also such an unsafe look for the Oscars. Really close to her is Billy Porter because mm-hmm. Billy kills it every single time. And this look, so far from everything we've seen from Billy, is definitely my favorite. My look. favorite has to be Julia Butters. Um, this is the first time I've seen her on a red carpet, and I think she just really owned it. Something different. I've never seen another, you know, young actress wear something like this. She has such a presence. And like we said earlier, I'm so excited to see her career just flourish. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if this is her first Oscars. Um, She killed it. She killed it. I think she just has such a presence and... I love her. Well, I am exhausted, Drew. (laughs) All that fashion. All the fashion has just hired me out. But you guys, that was just our take on all the styles on the red carpet tonight. And now we want to know what you guys think. Yeah, so please let us know ones we mentioned, ones we didn't mention, Mm -hmm. comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe. Please hit that bell because we're here all the time. All the time. (sighs) So good, you guys. Happy Oscars, y'all. Happy Oscars. And uh, your laundry is now dirty. You are very welcome. Oh, man, that was fun. Mm -hmm. But for even more fun and clever style, click right on over here. And then after that, you guys, please subscribe by clicking right down here because we really like our jobs. You know what else is down there? Sweatpants. (laughs) Hey, and sneakers. Dude, killing it.